Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video on the 3D Critic channel. I am David, your host, and today I'm going to be talking about the Adidas BYW Select, the Marvel Edition. And I'm gonna break down this shoe for you guys and give my final thoughts on it to see if this is a, a good shoe for you to play in. Now to start things off, on Adidas website, they go for $150 uh, original retail price. However, it is going on sale right now in specific colorways like this colorway for as low as $83. So if you guys are interested in uh, buying yourself a pair of these, I will leave a link in the description box below as always. Now getting into the traction, it is a full length rubber outsole with a multi-directional herringbone traction pattern for the red rubber and for the uh, black sections you are getting a pressure mapping traction pattern that is really similar to like a radial pattern itself so the overall traction is pretty solid in my opinion initially i had to break them in a little bit because they were sliding uh, a little bit as i was uh, trying to uh, wear them out but once you uh, wear wear it in you are going to get really good grip especially on a clean court with lower movements, I was able to uh, create space going side to side and uh, trying to get open for a jump shot, anything in that nature. With uh, being a perimeter defender as well, it was really good. With that, I was able to stay toe to toe with uh, whoever I was uh, guarding on the court. It made me keep up with everything that they were doing and I was able to react really quickly to what they were doing on the court. With vertical movements, it's really good as well with like hard stops, uh, cutting to the basket with a really quick first step. I was able to uh, generate a lot of force with the traction itself to get really good space, trying to get open and uh, pretty much be faster than the uh, person that's uh, trying to stick me. It was really good in that front and step backs as well. It was really solid created a lot of space that way too so with uh, any uh d d directions that you are trying to do on the court you are gonna do it with uh, no problems at all however with dust it does get dusty a little bit and it sticks to the traction pattern a little bit however with the uh, dust it generally uh kept its performance overall i didn't experience any sliding when it collected dust however if it gets really dusty you will slide a little bit and eventually you will have to uh, wipe it off and the uh, dust itself it is kind of hard to wipe off because the rubber itself is a little sticky so i recommend that you clean it so you can get the best traction out of the shoe and for overall durability it's holding up for the most part mainly in the main sections of the traction pattern however in the black portions in the front you are getting some wear on the edge of this uh, black section here and there's some on this side of the traction pattern as well and when you get along in the back you're going to get some more wear especially the red portions as well so i would be cautious to uh play in these outdoors this is what i've uh experienced with a few times playing indoors so i wouldn't recommend to uh, play in these outdoors considering how pliable the rubber is itself but indoors you should be fine just be um cautious to how long you plan them because it will wear off a little bit on you the more you plan them so to sum up the traction it is really good with any direction that you take vertically or laterally just make sure you clean it every now and then because dust will collect in it a little bit and it will result in you sliding a little bit on the court but in a clean court it's really good overall durability wise i wouldn't recommend it outdoors personally considering how pliable the rubber is and with the amount of wear that i have experienced with just a few days playing in them as well. So for that overall, I'm gonna give the traction a eight and a half out of 10. Now the cushion is comprised of a full length boost midsole that you can visibly see here. You could also see it in the bottom of the traction pattern itself with these perforations. You are going to get a full length TPU midfoot shank plate that is coated in uh, this metallic color and it goes all the way to the forefoot of the shoe and the back a little bit and in the lateral side you're going to get a light strike foam with this black uh, foam right here and you're going to see more of it in the heel area as well now the cushioning at first for me was a little underwhelming in the forefoot i didn't feel really responsive when it came to uh, contesting people's shots and in that regard there were some times where i felt flat-footed and i wasn't able to react to people's jump shots at all However, once you break it in over time, it will be really responsive and you'll be able to uh, 
contest people's shots, block them if you are in that kind of situation. And it's really responsive when it comes to uh, getting steals, uh, trying to wreak havoc on the court. And it is really bouncy as well. I was able to generate a lot of height to get rebounds as well. It was really good when it came to rebounds as a whole. And the heel, it is very nice and compressed with the boost midsole and the light strike foam as well. It was very nice and plush. It's not like hard on volume seven plush, but it's really close in my opinion. And the impact protection because of that is really nice and soft. All the impact went into the shoe and it didn't go in my back at all. I didn't experience any aching in my back as a result. And the overall heel to toe transition in the shoe is really smooth and it gives you a really nice fluid uh, feel every step that you take and you will be able to transition yourself from offense to defense when you're running up and down the court. It was very nice to play in. It was really nice to uh, move around in it as well. I was really happy with the responsiveness when you eventually get it and get accustomed to the uh, cushioning setup overall when you break it in. And the heel is really nice and plush, but overall it's a really nice cushioning setup, very responsive, very bouncy, really soft as well. And for that, I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. Now, when you get to the materials, it is mostly made up of this textile material in the lateral forefoot and medial side of the shoe. In the toe box area, you're going to get some fuse for extra durability. And then the tongue, you're going to get more textile material with really thin padding overall and in the front you're going to get this velcro patch with the adidas logo and since this is the marvel edition you get extra uh patches with a marvel sticker as well as an ant-man sticker as well and in the back you're going to get some uh decent padding overall it's not much in my opinion but it gets the job done overall and you're going to get some more lining in the back with this um, padding right here in the heel and you're going to get a pull tab that has Anthony Edwards name on it as well. So the materials for me are just okay in my opinion. The overall um, look and the build and quality of the uh, material itself is um, okay for the most part. It's not the best uh, feeling material that I have uh, tried so far but it gets the job done. It feels really comfortable when uh, you have your feet inside of them. I didn't experience uh, any pinching when it came to uh, me flexing the material itself in the forefoot. And in the midfoot with the uh, minimal tongue, surprisingly didn't feel any pinching from the uh, laces as well. It was really comfortable in the forefoot and the midfoot with the overall flexibility. And then the heel, there is enough padding that way you won't uh, experience uh, any uh, chafing in the uh, heel area itself. But overall, it gets the job done in my opinion. Materials are comfortable, but looks wise, I'm not really a fan of it. The only thing I like would probably be the uh, Velcro patches that you get, considering that this is the uh, Marvel Ant-Man edition. So it is a nice touch, but overall the materials are okay for the most part, comfortable. Looks wise, doesn't look that good. So overall, I'm going to give it a seven out of 10. Now for fit, I would go true to size because the width of the shoe is really nice and snug and length wise, it is also really good. However, there is a little bit of dead space in the toe box area. So it shouldn't be that much of a big deal for you. You won't experience any movement considering that the width is really snug overall. It does run a little narrow, however, so it will bulge your big toe in a little bit more. So if you have a narrow foot, go down half a size to uh, combat that issue. And if you have a wide foot as well, considering how snug it is width wise, I would go up half a size as well. So the overall fit, I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. So the lockdown overall in this shoe is really good in my opinion. The forefoot lockdown is really good considering how well the fit is in the forefoot width wise, especially it is really snug. That way you won't move around in the forefoot of the footbed. In the midfoot, you're going to get three straps that go all the way down in the lateral as well as in the medial side of the shoe, which helps the midfoot be locked into place and you won't experience uh, any movement in the uh, midfoot area. And in the heel, you are going to get a little heel slippage, but not a lot to the point where you're going to uh, have your heel flapping uh, all up about in the heel. And considering how minimalistically padded it is in the heel, I was surprised at how well it locked it into place. So overall, from the forefoot 
midfoot and in the heel. It is really solid lockdown overall. And for that, I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. So for support, you're going to get a nice wide stable base in the forefoot. You're also going to get a TPU shank plate that extends all the way to the forefoot as well as in the midsole section right here, which gives you a really nice uh, torsional support. And in the uh, forefoot, you're going to get a really uh, nice bulge in the uh, midsole. That way you can sit inside that midsole, which helps you prevent your uh, ankle rolling from side to side. And the midsole itself extends upward to the uh, material itself which helps with overall lateral support as well. And in the back of the heel, you're going to get an internal TPU heel counter, which helps prevent the heel from moving side to side in the shoe. Now the support in the shoe is really good, really solid overall. It is by far one of the best uh, support setups in a shoe that I have tried so far. The wide stable base gives you really good stability when you're coming down on your own two feet. And the uh, shank plate, uh, as a whole gives you really nice torsional support that way you are balanced at all times within the shoe whether you're doing uh, lateral movements and vertical movements as well it was really nice in that aspect and the uh, lateral um, structure and the uh, midsole itself gives you enough support laterally that way you won't experience any ankle rolls as well uh, was really nice in that front especially i had one instance where i thought i was going to roll my ankle but i didn't and i was really lucky in that aspect and the shoes really helped me out with that considering that you sit in the midsole a little bit and it was really nice it was i was really happy with um, that aspect of the shoe and in the heel i didn't experience any uh heel uh slipping going from side to side uh as a whole it was really nice support all around the shoe really good stability um really nice support when it came to ankle rolls as well and for that i'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. so to sum everything up for you guys i would absolutely recommend this shoe because the traction is really good when it comes to vertical and lateral movements overall just make sure you uh clean them every now and then because it will collect dust due to the stickiness of the rubber itself and keep it indoors as well considering how pliable the traction pattern is itself the cushion is really nice once you break it in it is really nice and responsive and bouncy in the forefoot and the heel is really soft and plush and it gives you a really fluid and smooth ride with every step that you take the materials get the job done the overall quality of the materials is okay but it is really supportive and it gives you really nice support features as well that way you will uh, be uh, injury free uh, as a whole and the overall lockdown of the shoe is really good with the really nice fit in the forefoot really nice uh lockdown system in midfoot and really uh nice uh lockdown in the heel as well and that is my review on the adidas byw selects thank you guys for watching this video leave a like if you enjoyed it Comment down below on your thoughts on the BYW Selects, your experiences that you have had with them, along with any other questions that you might have for me as well. Uh, comment down below also on how you uh, assembled these Velcro patches here. I am curious to know what uh, you did with them in this specific colorway. I'd uh, appreciate the feedback. And uh, comment down below on uh, who's your favorite Avenger in this case. Um, if you want to support this channel as well, I recommend that you hit the subscribe button down below. It is greatly appreciated as always. I appreciate the support. If you want any uh, more information, I will leave my information on Instagram as well as TikTok in the description box below if you are interested in following me there as well. I will be off next week, but once I come back, there's going to be a lot of shoes that I'm going to be testing. So stay tuned for that. And until, until that time, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of today and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of next week. And until next time, keep shooting.